Grand Rising family, welcome to your True Love Journey daily message for Tuesday the 19th. How are you guys doing? Is it two for Tuesday? Let me double check. Yes, it's for Tuesday. I want to make sure I got the date right. Um, family, it's also the first day that Mercury goes into shadow period. Yay! <laughs> So again, reminders, family, reminders, right? To leave her a little earlier, uh, be, be aware that there might be delays, uh, service your cars, um, double check your emails and your text messages, slow down, right? It's a great time to reorganize, redo, reassess, revise, revisit, uh, all the re's and, um, you know, to re refocus <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> you guys know the drill, how, how, how it works personally for me, I feel like Mercury retrograde shadow period is the strongest for me. It's when I'm already starting before it even went retrograde. My, my whole system was, has been weird and acting funny. So I could just imagine, right. Um, but it's okay because we're going to ride the wave together. We're going to stay grounded. We're going to work on our root chakra. We're going to, you know, not allow for distractions. We're going to stay focused and patient and slow down. And, um, you know, <sighs> utilize, uh, capitalize on this energy for what it's for, right? And it is for us to revisit and um, revise and redo and reor and really, you know, um, be grateful for this energy instead of, you know, thinking the worst, right? <laughs> and planning for that and, uh, you know, and, and manifesting it because we have these expectations. So uh, that, that Mercury is just going to do the most. So, um, and again, you know, nostalgia could be a little bit higher during this time frame as well. You might hear from old family, old friends and old exes as well. Um, the reason for that is because they, for, for, for some, they still haven't, you know, uh, closed things out, you know, within themselves when it comes to their connection with you or relationships with you. Um, you know, they haven't really come to peace or come to terms for some, that's the case. They haven't really, you know, um, moved on or forward from, 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 from the connection, right? For some, uh, they, they are just reaching out family for some people that returns are just really literally reaching out because it's a Mercury retrograde thing just to check in to see if you're still, you know, open, if it's still, they still have access, if you're still available. Luckily for me, everyone from my past is very much blocked. So um, I normally um, smooth, smooth sailing for me during Mercury retrograde, <laughs> you know, um, it's usually smooth sailing, but I tend to sometimes hear from old friends. They, they reach out to me on um, Jack's coughing. They reach out to me on, on social media and stuff. So update on Jack. Um, I, I did a I did I did some research and his breed his breed he's a papillon mix with Chihuahua and his breed they live their lifespan is from 13 to like 16 years old and Jack is actually 13 so he's pushing he's pushing and he you know I mean he's 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 uh what is it that spirit says he's persevering and pushing through and not giving up but um it's very obvious that he is, he's dragging and slowing down and reaching close. I, I probably don't have that much time left with him. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm coming to grips with it. I'm coming to grips with it and, and the acceptance that I, I'm just happy that he actually got to live a full, to his full lifespan, right? To his, his a full life, you know, he has been my emotional support buddy. <laughs> He's been a, a great companion. Oh, He's been a great companion. I got him shortly after my divorce and he has been by my side following me. 
around the house and being a, a really wonderful buddy. Sorry, excuse me. going to close the door because because in case he starts to cough again so yes family so you know that's part of it right when we have our little family our little fur fur family our little fur babies their their lifespans a lot shorter than ours so you know and it's it's part of it right it's part of the whole endings and new beginnings and um and it's going to be different. It's going to feel different. Everything is, you know, uh, when that time comes. But I'm enjoying him and appreciating him while he's still here. <laughs> so anyway, I uh, just wanted to share that. And also I wanted to share with you guys, I posted on the community board. I don't know if you guys saw. Uh, Brandon, my, my oldest son, this weekend on Sunday, he actually got engaged he put a ring on it <laughs> if you like it then you should have put a ring on it <laughs> and uh so I'm, i gained another daughter this weekend i'm sorry jack is really i gained another daughter this weekend she's beautiful a beautiful angel and the beautiful thing about it was is that um before they met um i i uh, my son i felt that my son was ready to heal so I, in front of him, in front of my daughter, and then another time, I think I did it a couple of times. Uh, I don't know if it was two or three times that I said my prayer, like I say, sometimes out loud here with you guys. And I uh, asked the angels, spirit guides, the divine, to please bring my son, his soulmate. And uh, I said his name and that he's ready to, he because he's ready to heal his heart, because love is the greatest healer and transforms all. And... Um, and it was time for him to make some healthier life changes. And I know how much the vib the frequency, the vibration of love, our soulmates, they mirror to us, right? They, The right person in our lives really does help to change our entire lives and transforms our entire lives. That helps us to grow, ascend, evolve. And he's done just that since he met her. Shortly after I said this prayer and I called her in for him, he meets her and it's his perfect soulmate and I just love them together and they are uh, uh, super healthy. They're healthy. It's a healthy, beautiful connection. They're, they're, the only thing is that they, there's always a thing, right? The only thing is that they're very, very close. <laughs> they're very, very glued. They're very attached, which, um, you know, it's, it's a good thing. But also, you know, uh, we, that we talk a lot about how, you know, attachment can yeah. attachment cannot you know it may not be there you know <laughs> attachment may not be always to to attach may not be always you know the best thing but you know that's something that they're on their own path that they will grow and ascend and learn and evolve they're just so in love you know it's just that's mostly what it is what it is about is that they're just so in love they just love doing everything together and uh they do take space Sometimes she goes and spends time with her family and uh, spends the night there. And, uh, you know, so it's not like weird or codependent or anything like that. But, um, but yeah, they're very healthy and they're just beautiful. And I just love them together. And she's helping him to raise his, his, uh, my granddaughter, which is his daughter. Um, and, um, and she has been an angel in both my son's life and my granddaughter's life. Uh, God sent beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl inside and out, and uh, we're lucky and blessed to have her in our family and as a part of as a part of my family. And it's it, the, the the divine is just share, showering our family with the showers of heavenly love, and we're just receiving it beautifully. And um, and that's the energy. Romance is in the air. Love is in the air. Cupid's in the air, and. Um, and there's just a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, a lot of a lot of bliss. So um, my, you know, family's doing good. Everything is falling into place, and everything is working out. As long as we just keep, 
you know, sending their angels to our family members, right? Sending the divine, sending prayers to our family members, sending protection to our family members, uh, and then trusting that they are going to be guiding them on their path and that, you know, whatever lessons that they're going to learn, they're going to learn. And for us, just letting, letting, you know, their, them fly away, right? With their, with their, with their wings. So my son is just now starting his little, his own little family. And, um, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I'm still in my feels about it. It's a huge milestone. So I wanted to share that with you all family. So thank you so much for everyone that already has posted on the community board, wishing my family lots of love and blessings and everyone that's posted on Instagram. Also congratulating my family. It's received. I feel the love. I feel the blessing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. So let's get started with this uh, Tuesday message. I want to thank everyone for being here, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel, for sending decks, and for scheduling readings with me. As you guys know, every single time you guys contribute to the channel, it does help so much. Um, and I really do appreciate your support. It does help the message to reach more people. It's how our community grows. So um, thank you for that, family. So I'm going to say my prayer, and then we're going to get started. Actually, I forgot to turn on my little thing on my Bobby here real quick. I'm going to turn off, turn off my mic for a second. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what angel is with everyone. What angels with the collective for Tuesday, the 19th of Split the Deck? We have the Archangel Raguel. Raguel, keeper of the Akashic Records, balance and peace, meditate. Everything is going according to plan. Everything's in divine order here, according to this angel. You're receiving a lot of sacred knowledge, research. Um, whenever you're guided to keep doing your research or bring balance, order and justice to those who ask and who desire to follow God's plan for their lives. It says get more information here. So there's something you're being asked to get more information on. What else for Tuesday the 19th? else for Tuesday. Thank you to everyone that scheduled personal reading with me as well. Every, to do that, the information will be in the description box below on my website. If you have any issues there, you guys email, you can email me at infinitelovetarot at gmail.com. What else here for Tuesday the 19th? We have a beloved angel of the choir, beautiful magic and intuition. Okay, moon energy here. So lots of magic is taking place right now. Wisdom, soothing sounds, ocean tides, going places feared and untread. This came out for us before. And angel of patience. So magic is unfolding is what I just heard. Magic is unfolding. And that's why you're re being required to just allow and have patience right now. And keep in mind, family, uh, the 19th also is the equinox so um, i may do an equinox reading as well today um just a quick equinox message for the collective it's also the first day of the astrological new year so happy new year family happy new year yes and um and and shortly after we're in eclipse season so we are approaching the lunar 
the lunar eclipse in Libra. And then on uh, April 1st, Mercury goes retrograde. And then April 8th, we have uh, the solar the solar eclipse in Aries. So lots of things going on, lots of changes. Uh, we're going to ride the wave together. I've been seeing 555 five, five, two days in a row now. Um, major changes are ahead again, right? And uh, we're flowing with the, with, the, with the waves of life together, okay? So we have, I show you, so the uh, Kai Rael, Beloved angel of the choir, magic and intuition, wisdom and soothing sounds, ocean ties. Um, so maybe you're being guided to go spend time near the ocean and water. I show you how to overcome fears through self-confidence and following the wisdom found within your heart. And you're being asked to deep dive at this time. Number 20, number 17. And then at the bottom here, we have the angel of patience, Asmodel. Inner peace. Next big step, develop plans, attention to detail, cautious and unruffled. I help time, patience and planning be your allies when you contend with annoying details or complex situations. So again, with the Mercury shadow period starting now, right? This angel is going to be key to call upon um, when, you know, attention to detail, that's it's very mercurial um having the inner peace so this is the angel that's going to help you to have the patience right in, in the event that you're dealing with a complex situation uh so it feels like tuesday you might that might come up for you something that you're gonna you know need this angel here right so might as well just call them in right now <laughs> As you know, they they need to be called in because you have free will. We have angel, uh, number 33 here, so you could be seeing 333. All right, let's see with the monology as we're in this uh, gorgeous cycle of change, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse uh, season. We're going to continue to use the monology here. Just show us the way. Adjustments are required and a personal issue reaches resolution. I'm still in my feels about Jack and in my feels about my son's uh, milestone. <laughs> so in case you guys hear any vulnerability coming from me, that's where it's coming from. From uh, emotions. That are coming up all right last shuffle here what else is the message for the collective for the 19th magic is in the air here magic and intuition so your intuition is really strong as oh wow how interesting thank you spirit for this confirmation and this message wow okay we have scorpio and aquarius here so two fixed signs Two fixed signs. So interesting because right the second that I said, I'm still in my feels <laughs> about Jack, you know, reaching his time. And uh, oh, I can't even say it out loud. <laughs> um, and uh, my son's, you know, milestone. And I said, that, beware, I might be show a little vulnerability here with you guys. We have show the world the real you, Aquarius energy. And you guys know I'm an Aquarius myself. So um, that's the energy family. Be, walk your truth, live your truth, speak your truth. It doesn't matter how, you, how, how you're feeling, how you show up. Just be yourself, right? Share, share all of you and who you are in your truth okay and it's important that you see others people in your life also from those lens of who they are instead of who we want them to be or how we would like them to be and that denial energy right so um show the world the real you so tuesday you're being guided to just be your authentic self it could be somebody is getting ready to show you who they really are take off their mask taking off their mask right facing their fears we have we have scorpio energy here it's time to release the negativity on tuesday it's time to release negativity what's under that 
we have conf yeah confidence is your key to success to being who you are who you truly are your true authentic self and it's going to be time to release you know fears as well because that's what it comes with being your being in your confidence and stepping into your authenticity here okay so negativity could be coming up for you on tuesday the self-doubts the limiting beliefs the outdated beliefs right so um the second guessing the psyching ourselves out right getting in our heads about about things here that uh, could be you know you could be challenged by something here on tuesday that this angel is saying call on me because i help i help time patience and planning be your allies when you contend with annoying details or complex situations that could actually cause us to go into negativity remember confidence we talk about this a lot this is solar plexus energy is truly is confidence is very attractive the universe is very attracted to confidence because confidence equals to certainty right certainty we're certain we're certain that we're going to get through that whatever we're getting through we're certain that we're going to achieve our goals our dreams we're certain that our manifestations are all coming in our and our prayers are being answered you know i am i believe in myself i believe in my gifts right so uh because i know that i am enough and i am good enough confidence because i am worthy and deserving of all that i am manifesting and creating right now magic is so i feel like crown chakra energy i feel like you're manifesting kind of fast right now and um it's like the deep the more you dive in and dive deep and you go within and you connect with your with source with your inner self um the more magic you're experiencing in your life and the more balance and peace you will feel as well in meditation all right let's see what else we got so authenticity is the message and vulnerability does require vulnerability is strength Look at this solar plexus energy of confidence, of inner peace, of personal power, of, you know, self-confidence, self-worth, self-accepting, trustance, and accepting our gut feeling. This is our motivation, our passion, you know, purpose even comes from this. It's one of our, it's one of the three brains, right? So this is when I say, I believe in myself, I believe in my gifts, that's solar plexus energy also an energy of vitality and action as well masculine energy is solar plex fire it's the element of fire okay so confidence here so you could you know benefit from, from you're invited by god source the universe <laughs> whoever you pray to connect with your spirit guides to uh, meditate on your solar plexus on Tuesday, maybe do a solar plexus affirmations. Um, just do the solar plexus mantra, Ram, R A M, a bunch of times over and over and over again when you're sitting in your meditation pose, or or just flat out listen to binaural beats for uh, solar plexus, or listen to a solar plexus um, guided meditation. You can use Brian Scott or Meditative Mind. Okay, what else is the energy here for Tuesday? wow okay wow nice so okay lots of sacrifices have been made justice here you're getting justice well wow, number 11 and number 12 and 21 mirror number number six balance is being restored here definitely in your material world as well as your you know spiritual as well spiritual and material material and spiritual prosperity spiritual abundance i'm getting so good news i have good news very good news it's been nothing but good news lately in our dailies right so it's not going to stop now <laughs> the good news is family is that all your sacrifices all your hard work you know um all the injustice this everything that you've ever been everything that you've been through to get to where you are right now you uh everything you sacrificed 
right? It's like now, family, you are about to receive so much, so much, so much recognition, so much reward. This is talking about partnerships and alliances as well. Financial prosperity is coming into you. Your time of waiting here, patience and planning is coming to end. Look, another card of material harvest. Come on, what are you guys doing? You guys are uh, creating magic here in your life, aligning with abundance. Look at all this root chakra energy. You guys could be working on root chakra. So we have conflict and defeat under that. That's what you're overcoming. So we have the world, the universe is helping. The universe is assisting. This is a completion. You finally reached the end. Today, the angel of mercy jumped again, saying it's the end of pain. It's uh, the end of estrangement. Forgiveness. Oh, was it the angel of forgiveness or the angel of mercy? I don't know. One of those. Um, and it's saying that you've reached the culmination. You've reached the, com the completion. You have accomplished what, you know, you've been s achieving your goals, which you've been setting out to do. Okay. Which is to free yourself finally from this grief that you have been feeling. So this is an emotional breakthrough. It looks like emotional freedom okay um a lot of healing here okay with the five this is the five of cups so emotional loss and and right before that we have this triumphant success and that's this person here you can see and i did see crown chakra right earlier because i'm seeing magic and intuition so this is upper chakras this is the the throat this is heart throat third eye and crown all in one card right and sacral chakra here so there's a huge breakthrough that you're getting right now the ace of swords is, is everything from communication to clarity uh you know to again uh, emotional breakthrough epiphany aha moment so a lot a lot of clarity and uh, this clarity is what's bringing in the success for you and what i love about the image here is that there is somebody here that looks like that their hand is coming from the dirt from the ground from the rocks it's like they've been buried under some kind of a rubble but they are persevering conquering breaking through that and coming out of it triumphantly as you can see there's a hand coming from the ground from the rocks from the rubble from being buried remember i said they did not know that you are a seed right and it's the uh, the world 21 the fool's journey reached the end the fool's journey reached the end the culmination and now the next card from this is the fool we start over we start a new cycle this is also saturn that means we learned from this cycle otherwise it wouldn't close if we didn't learn we would re keep repeating. Saturn is, 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 is a planet that says, oh, oh, you haven't learned? Oh, yeah. Like, like, like the tough has the arms closed, you know, closed like that and says, oh, looking, looking at us and saying, oh, okay. You haven't learned yet. All right, let's do this again. We're going to, you're going to keep doing it. Standing over you, watching you <laughs> like a strict granddaddy <laughs> watching you keep doing it until you finally get it right and somebody finally got it somebody finally got it here and and now the cycle can now saturn can close the site the cycle can complete you know saturn is the lord of karma the taskmaster you know the planet of accountability and responsibility and hard work to name a few you know it, it's it's the planet that turns us into the diamond right and um and so like i said karma is always watching karma is always here and um this there i feel like there is um, some forgiveness work that's been taking place here and that's how we're able to close this out there's a learning there's a self-awareness there's a breakthrough right 
it's like, oh, okay, I know why this happened. I know why I experienced this. I know why I went through this. And I know what I need to do to change that. 90% of the transformation comes from the awareness. So, and it's like, we don't want to repeat that. We don't want to feel this ever again, right? Regarding this, 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 this connection or this lesson that we've been through. And it's been a very long, lengthy process. I, I do get the energy and the vibe and the feeling that <sighs> you guys are tired. I'm getting here also with this recognition and reward. It's like this. It's like this person is, it's like the universe recognizes you is what I'm getting and is rewarding you for your hard work, for your patience, for your perseverance, for everything that you've been through. It's like this person has their head down, ready to be, ready for the, the, the medal to be put over, ready to be crowned, right? The universe recognizes your sacrifices. The universe recognizes the injustice that you've been through. It's like, mer it's time for mercy. It's time to be released from this pain once and for all, from this, the, the, the five of cups, it's like it, this, this, what you went through hit you straight in your heart chakra. It's I'm talking chest pains, heartache, can't breathe, despair, shame, guilt, regret, remorse, you know, like, man, if I can go back in time, I wish I could go back in time. Please God, take me back in time and let me do this again. I would choose differently. I would choose, I would choose differently. I would do things differently. Please erase what, all of that and let me do this again, right? Like somebody is like really praying, like have their hand on their heart and they're really praying to God to please give me one more chance to redo this. Give me one more chance, right? Judgment energy. Give me one more chance. I'll do it right. I'll do this right. Let's see what else. Split the deck to the wheel of fortune. Wow, we're we're getting we're going diving deep. We're are we diving deep today? <laughs> dive deep. Are we diving? That's why you're being asked to dive deep. That's why. That explains it. That explains it so much. Ocean tides, a lot of emotion, ocean tides. That's why you've been asked to connect with solar, uh, sorry, sacral chakra, sacral chakra. The solar plexus also governs the ego, our pride and our ego. All right, I'm gonna clarify a couple of these. triumph and success so somebody's getting ready to reveal with the ace of swords you're getting ready to reveal family triumph and success somebody's getting ready to communicate and the thing about the page woo, uh, look remember we saw let me let me just go ahead and do that here remember that we saw let me move this here. Remember that we saw at the bottom of the deck here, all of those, all of those root chakra energies, right? Nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, six of pentacles. Okay. A lot of stability, a lot of security, a lot of, you know, material gains and prosper, a lot of wealth. Okay. That's being, being given to you from the unit. Remember the universe saw the universe Saturn saw. Saturn said, you're ready now. You're ready to receive your reward. This pentacle takes a long time to manifest. You're ready to receive your reward. So this is talking about communication all day. You're going to about to get some good news. This is coming in. You don't see this coming. Choose wisely, I heard. I feel you will. Trust your intuition. The path ahead may not be clear. There's a lot of emotions that could be coming up for you right now. Okay. Stuff that's in the shadow, stuff that's hidden is coming up to the surface for more healing, for more purge, for more release. This needs to be released before we, so we can close this out with forgiveness. I heard, 
We have Pisces and Cancer here. Um, I do feel like... Let's continue. Tell me about this page of wands with the Ace, with the Ace of Swords, Triumphant Success. King of Swords, masculine energy here is getting ready to communicate. They're the ones that are, this is the masculine energy here that I feel like the feminine energy has been clearing this up for a while now. N not to say that you know, the pain doesn't come back every so often, right? Because you, just because you forgive somebody doesn't mean the pain went away. You know, it just simply means you, you seeing things from a different perspective. You understand what happened and why it happened. You, you're seeing the persons, you're seeing them from the eyes of the angels and the eyes of love and the, from innocence, right? But that doesn't, that doesn't erase or doesn't, you know, take away eventually the pain will go away but it's like the memory of what happened is still there for some it comes and goes in waves so they're getting ready to come and talk they're working on having the confidence here and releasing the negativity okay they do recognize you and the connection three of now they want to come in and work together collaborate and build so um let's see where they are with this emotional loss look now they want to give balance out the connection six of pentacles although they are a little detached emotionally they're thinking very logically okay right now although they're a little emotionally detached emotionally unavailable and a little aloof here their their communication is going to be fiery and passionate and flirty the only thing about what the the message for the page of wands is to finish what you start okay um and i feel like that's what this person is coming to do to finish what what they started they're coming to give they're coming to give if they've never if they haven't given before again i, I channeled somebody saying Please, please, please. Give me, just give me a chance to do it again. Just give me a chance to do it again. I'll do it right this time. I know how I messed up. I know where I went wrong. I take full accountability. At least this person, if this person hasn't taken accountability with you yet, they're taking full accountability with, with, with the most high, with God. I'm getting this person maybe crying. They could be crying. This person feels very deeply, but they don't show it. King, King of Swords. Emotional loss. Clarify. Clarify emotional loss. Five of Cups. Queen of, Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Give me one more for emotional loss with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups has been healing for a long time. But like I said, it's not to say that it doesn't come up for you every so often. Ace of Cups, as I said, have been healing for so long. Been feeling, filling your cup, healing your emotions, becoming more balanced. I'm going to clarify the Queen of Cups a little more with another deck to see where we're at with this. But I'm getting that the emotional loss is coming from this king. Now that they've gone through this awakening here. Now that they're coming, now that they have, you know, uh, went through this awakening, now they realize what they lost. The Queen of Cups is, a, is you know, a uh, water element, is psychic and intuitive, creative, a healer energy, an empath, a giver, right? Somebody that is compassionate and forgiving and loving and gentle and warm. And, and kind this queen has been giving a lot of self-love to herself he or she i'm reading energy feminine energy has been giving a lot of self-love i've been healing the sacral and this person look ace of pentacles again i'm just gonna go ahead and take it so there's two aces here a brand new beginning for stability for security is coming in for this queen a new beginning in love but this queen had to fill her own cup this queen is very magical and very mystical. 
This queen had to fill her own cup, you know, and learn how to do that. Give to herself and, and find emotional stability, emotional security within herself first before we can law of attraction before we can attract in our match we got to become that first right so um this person is really feeling in their heart shock the loss of this queen of cups i'm getting that as well it's a huge loss when you lose someone's genuine authentic pure love you know and um, like I said, if, if this is this Queen of Cups that's healing from this, you know, we're feeling better here. But, you know, the, we still from time to time feel the pain. And remember, after every ending, there's always a new beginning. It's not a loss. It's alignment. You're being, there's, there's opportunities coming in now that are more suited for you, right? There's, uh, you know this in the original right away there's a hand coming from heaven from the sky from with these offers with these opportunities so universe clarified the world divine timing right we have you reap what you sow this is saturn again saying what you put into something is what you're going to get so make sure this is the you know the taskmaster saturn is a hard worker saying your patience has been paying off your hard work has been paying off here okay and um give me one more on the seven of pentacles with the universe yeah patience family card of patience Two, two cards of patience things are sh changing things are shifting things are closing out uh, things are coming into oh, what does this say here the uh, develop plans next best step according to plan things are going right there things are going akashic records so with this world card and the akashic records we talked about the akashic records in another reading you're turning the page because you're, you've learned the, the karmic lessons here. And um, you're, you're coming into... You, you're, you're breaking free from some patterns, okay? And uh, creating new ones. Aces here. And one of the lessons that Saturn has been teaching you has been patience. With, with the process, we have here the angel of patience. And then we have two cards of patience. Right under the world, things are closing out. Okay, but it still requires you to have patience. We have, um, and then we have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck as well. There, there's somebody here that's healing, trying to regain their ba emotional balance and emotional. Yes, yeah, somebody here knows the truth. They got the ascension, they got the epiphany, they got the clarity, and they are working towards raising their vibration here, it feels like. So that they can take action, okay? But again, wow, look, true love angel gang, the lovers there. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of momentum and a lot of movement soon, okay? But right now, it's like, yeah, we're in the middle of closing. Yeah, there's the world again. We're in the middle of closing out this cycle. For somebody, it could be a cycle in another connection or another situation relationship uh, living situation but we have um the temperance card i love the temperance card it's one of my favorite cards it's because it does represent everything that we are seeing here balance and peace we have balance and peace here and we have inner peace there right and that's what and that's what the universe is helping you with i do feel like there are people here that are aligning with the universe, universal alignment I'm getting, that are really mastering this, this time, energy, and effort that you are spending, investing into yourself and, and doing a life review and making healthier choices for yourself is really helping you to come into a good harmony and balance within yourself and peace, balancing out the masculine and the feminine. And as you can see here, we have uh, air, I'm sorry, we have water and fire, those are you know the blue and the water the, um, the blue and the red those are twin flame 
colors. This is my soulmate twin flame card. I usually, whatever label, this is a spiritual divine connection. Okay. That's coming together here for you. And, and this is Archangel, the angels. Okay. This is Archangel Michael talking about, you know, I'm helping you here to come into inner balance and, 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 and stillness. And that's why these guidance, it's important that you follow these guidances here. Okay. That whatever you're being guided to research, research it. So you can expand your consciousness and learn new things here. Um, I'm also getting your intuition is really strong right now. And to keep diving deep, to keep strengthening your gifts and your abilities. Uh, temperance is this energy of flow and patience and harmony, peace, mending and reconciliation as well. How coming together, uh, an alchemy that's taking place at this time. So, uh, and that's what's happening. This person here is trying to come into wholeness themselves now into union with the divine mask and divine feminine energy within them. Okay. And that's why the patience is here, right? But look at these aces. These aces are already showing up. I want to clarify a couple. Uh, uh, I want to look. And we have also a counterpart. King and queen of cups coming into alignment. In the sacral. Tell me a little bit about this king of swords spirit, please. Everything just feels different now. And everything's just going to continue to feel different. Everything's just going to continue to feel different. King of swords. Clarify the king of swords. With this triumphant success and the page of wands spirit they're getting ready to show you the who they oh wow not today in reverse and ascending i did say that that this person was going through an ascend ascension yeah that, see why we have here it's time to release negativity and confidence is your key to success because under the deck we have frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear and ego issues and jealousy so that's this person's um limiting outdated beliefs and mindset right that this person you know is trying to ascend from here look transcending the obstacles like i said that people this person the people in their life or whatever they went through try to bury this person they didn't realize they didn't realize that this person is a divine masculine right this person is immortal learning expansion new phase and preparing for union so we got here not today so this person is going from not wanting to talk what does that say not dealing not dealing avoiding a conversation to that being in reverse because now they're going to reach out because they have been you know ascending expansion they're going through a new uh, you know a new phase the reason why they may have had they may have had narcissistic tendencies look empath with the narcissist paradigm right this person that's what this person has been that's the regret that could be your regret too you know you could have had a lot of that you had to heal and around shame sacral energy around shame when it came to now that you see things differently when it came to you know what you put up with endured accepted allowed I, I, I went through that healing personally myself. I went through that healing personally myself. Um, that's not the easiest, the, the self-forgiveness work. Um, sometimes the repetitive thinking uh, the, over and over again is what you could have done differently for what you, how you could have showed up for yourself, right? How you could have abandoned yourself less. And, and how could you have loved yourself more and put yourself first? And that's what this queen is doing. But again, the reason why this person may have had narcissistic tendencies here, grow with the snake, they may have, they may have been a snake in your life, is because this person had a, a lot of insecurities. They did not feel good enough. Not enough. But it feels like that, that's why 
you're being protect you know i heard it again today by by spirit archangel michael you're being protected if things are manifesting for you i promise you when you want it i promise you it's because you're being protected from this person's dark side from their shadow side from their reckless from their depression from their low vibration energy and, and the people that's around them that's low vibrational um okay while especially while you're sensitive and fragile and and healing and you know and ascending and aligning with your purpose it's like the, the, please see it please see it that way because i keep hearing that and that's the truth i saw another card came out yes not yesterday uh maybe it was yeah maybe it was yesterday the day before and I posted it on Instagram. Said angel wings are, are, are over you. You are being protected. Uh, very much so right now. So um, thank you, spirit. For, you know, it may hurt. It may feel awful, right? Not to be with the person that you love deeply. But trust and believe that there, there's a reason for it. And, 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 and for some, it's a sacrifice, right? And, and the reason for it is because this person was not ready to match your frequency, to match your energy, to, um, they weren't still in, in their divinity or in the, in the vibration of unconditional love. They were still in their ego and their pride, you know, um, they still were not in the, in the frequency of openness and kindness and generosity and of, of of giving equally equal reciprocity equal give and receive what you prayed for and what you deserve and what you are worthy of what you have been doing this whole, all this work to align with so and that's the reason for this delays that's the reason for the way that's the reason for the patience is for this person here to connect with their emotions to connect with themselves with their heart space so that they can, you know, be vulnerable and connect with you emotionally. The Queen of Cups is matches the is the King of Cups. P two people with the same love languages that connects emotionally with the other. And I was telling my daughter today that the older the person gets, the, the older the per I don't know if I told her today or yesterday. The older the person is, the more stuff they have. The more guarded they are, the more reasons, you know, the more uh, trust issues, you know that they have that to move through the limitations the, the more programming the more conditioning more wounds the more stuff that they the, you know and and the longer that it takes for that to be cleared out and healed once the awareness right here the awareness ace of swords king of swords kicks in right so um queen of cups clarify the queen of cups So it's like enjoy your your time with yourself and your peace. You know that you that you feel right now even though it hurts. This pain that's coming up. Let me see if this is even you. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see? I was just talking about that spirit. Something sudden is going to happen. A sudden change. Which we saw in yesterday's reading, right? Well, kaboom with the tower. Right here again. Epiphany, shocking, new surprise, upheaval, transformation. So, again, you, the Queen of Cups, I feel. Um, right here, we have need time, takes time, in time. Time to heal and progress. Cycles is, is, is making progress. Especially with the Ace of Cups here. With the healing. Definitely making a lot of progress and so is this king of of swords this king of swords is, is transcending the obstacles is ascending i feel like this king of swords has is always real brooding and real serious right again kind of like logical and everything has to have a plan they have to have a plan they have it's like i'm feeling like if you guys are familiar with the personality matrix no is the personality matrix that, is that what that's called whether I, I think that's what it's called. Let me let me double check that. <laughs> Persona is it personality matrix? If you're familiar with it, it's um the promoter, 
the controller, the analyzer, and the supporter, right? It's four. So when you get to know that and you take the test and you, um, personality, personality matrix. Yeah, it's, it's the personality matrix. It's the four. I wasn't making sure that I was, and you take your time to research that you take the test and you see where you fall, where you land. This person is looking to me like he, he or she may be a, a controller analyzer. There's a shadow to that, right? But the breakthrough of these personality matrix is, um, is, is, you know, when we're conscious and aware of that, we can choose our higher self, right? We can, you know, not allow for the shadow aspect of these personality matrix, uh, to control and dictate our life. This person is looking to me like a, um, controlling analyzer. Me, for example, I am an analyzer supporter or supporter analyzer. I think, I think I'm an analyzing supporter. I'm an analyzer supporter, but again, I'm aware. So I've had my, my breakthroughs when it comes to that, right? Because I'm aware of my personality matrix. So, um, definitely take that test and see where you guys land and, and see how the people, where the people in your life land as well. So, you know, exactly how to deal with them. People that are promoters, they tend to be the personality uh, of a promoter is somebody that has shiny object syndrome. That's the life of the party that they love to have fun. You know, they, um, they, they're, they're looking for the next fun, best thing. They probably hop around from different relationships or they have a shopping addiction. Um, those are, that's the shadow, right? And, um, they like to be the center of attention, you know, uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the, the supporter are the ones that are the extreme empaths that are like supporting everybody, people pleasing. They want to be there for everybody and they want to help everybody. They want to save the planet, save the world. You know, the analyzers are the ones that, you know, uh, are the overthinkers, the perfectionists, right? And, uh, the controller, the ones that just wants to control everything. They want to just get to the result. They, they, they're focused on the result, but there's more to it than that, you know? And, um, and, and that's what I feel here is, is this person that's over, this person just likes to overanalyze and trying to wants to control everything. And they might just may not be aware that of the shadow aspect of, of their own personality matrix. Can I, can you clarify one of, uh, can you clarify the King of Cups? Okay. So the King of Cups is the runner, by the way. Scorpio energy here, Sagittarius energy, Cancer, Aquarius, uh, Gemini. Uh, and we have the four fixed signs, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. We have a runner, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a runner. And there we go. Golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So this person may, may, may run, come back, love bomb, run again, right? And then watch. Yeah. A very, you know, I don't know why I heard the word fidgety. I'm not, I don't, I don't even think that this person has any, any kind of ADD or ADHD that they can't really, not very stable energy, right? Um, that they struggle to focus or anything like that. I don't think that at all. I think that this per person focuses just fine uh, because I just read focusing out. So this person is watching. Yes, they are. They're watching. I just feel like there's still some healing that's taking place. We have uh, the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding things out, things coming to light. So this person is doing a little bit better here when it comes to being very, ad to being adaptable. And, um, and surrendering here to the change, it feels like with, especially with this Saturn energy, the fact that Saturn is here, right where this King of Cups is, is saying that this person, you know, slowly here with the Seven of Pentacles and the, and the Temperance card has been learning some val very valuable lessons when it comes to true love. But look at the bottom of the deck, Cupid's arrow. I, I did say love is in the air and Cupid's in the air, right? We have, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation and meeting. Let's go ahead and take that. 
it is coming these this is the the cupid's arrows the love the the arrows of love as well can i have one more on this queen of cups please love call so there's going to be a phone call that's going to come in to the queen of cups and i feel like this person is watching and and the right time is approaching right here that's the communication that's coming in and i did talk about the mirroring right we have the queen of cups and the king of cups so be aware that when this comes in that there's still going to be mirroring okay Mirroring each other's self-image. Relationship reflects our wounds and introspection. And before reacting to whatever trigger or whatever this, you know, ref reflect, right? Do the introspection, the, the soul searching, the self-reflection about it, okay? Um, I was just talking to my friend today about this, this person that I dated for a few months. The, the huge purpose that he served in my life. How, what he mirrored back to me what i how much i learned and i doubled up on the work uh, during the time that i was dating him he revealed so much to me he helped to reveal so much to me you know relationships any and all relationships are a huge reflection of what still needed to work on okay uh he revealed to me like i, I was like uh in a law of attraction energy at the time he revealed to me he he struggled to keep his word because he was very codependent on uh everybody in his life around him and he just spread himself very thin and he just um didn't have a lot of time not even for himself he, he thought he was ready for a relationship but clearly he had a, a lot on his plate a lot of people really took advantage of his kindness his heart his energy they they really creamed and milked his codependency and um we talked about it at length about it but again you people just have to come to their own conclusions so he would make promises to me or say he was going to do this that and the other and then he wasn't able to follow through with it so it made me go within and think to myself how how is he how what what is this mirroring to me? What is this mirroring to me? Right? How is it that I'm showing up in my life? Where is it that I'm not following through in my life? What, what commitment or what am I saying that I'm going to do? Or what promises I'm making to myself that I'm not keeping? Because I law of attraction, like attracts like, how did I attract this in to my energy? Right? How did I attract somebody in that, you know, doesn't keep i can't build trust with somebody that that doesn't keep their word and doesn't follow through if you say you're going to do something and you don't do it i can't trust you i can't i can't I, I don't believe you i don't believe you right because you you haven't followed through with anything you said so that's a huge part integrity is one of my top values and um so he had me thinking about that you know and um that's just one of the things of the many things that I learned about myself while I was dating this person. And I know that this person was sent to me as practice from the divine, you know, to reveal things to me and for me to, you know, see where I am on my abandonment wounds, on my codependency wounds. And, um, and it was wonderful because I really was able to knock. He, I felt like he actually took my healing journey uh, very close to the finish line. Just dating him alone from what he was reflecting back to me. And I'm saying that because, again, it's important that we don't criticize. We don't project. We don't judge. We don't blame. We don't point fingers, right? Because somewhere along the line, whatever this person is mirroring to you, about you, whether it's good or not the most comfortable stuff, shadowy stuff that we need to look at. It's when you dive deep and you go within and you reflect on what that is, you know, it'll come to you. Ask the angels to reveal to you, how is this person mirroring me? And then go into meditation and then it will be revealed to you. You will get your epiphany, your breakthrough, your aha moment about it. I'm going to give, them, give a message here from the lover's path for the queen of cups. So again, it's so close. We have the, a, a cycle that's closing. Think this person, this King of Cups, 
is coming into balance and harmony within. The Queen of Cups is making progress on the healing journey. Somebody's getting ready to, sh to, to take their mask off and reveal who they really are. They're in the process of right now of uh, breaking free from their negative thinking, their negativity. Okay, right here, developing the plans right now. This king, of, this king of Swords, that's a planner. Can you please, uh, what is the guidance for the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups is energy. See, emo lots of emotions that the Queen of Cups is feeling. There's a lot of stuff that could be, reflection, thank you. There's a lot of stuff that could be coming up for the Queen of Cups right now. We have reflection, we have dive deep, okay? Um, I do feel that the Queen of Cups is healing from this emotional loss, but I do feel from time to time, the Queen of Cups feels it, feels the pain. I don't, I don't feel the pain is gone for, for some of you guys. If it is for, for others of you guys, good for you, congratulations. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, King Queen of Cups, but they also can distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So again, I'm not saying that the Queen of Cups is walking around with resentment right now, but I am saying that that's what we're healing from. The emotions that are coming up for the Queen of Cups, right, with this emotional loss, they're painful ones that are coming up to be released, to be healed, which we also picked up in yesterday's reading. It's coming up for reflection. It's coming up for it to be healed and released, right? Um, our perception can definitely be restored when we... When we're in this energy of expectation, we have resentment when we don't set boundaries. We have resentment when we have expectations. We have resentment when we feel we're not treated fairly or it's, it's been an injustice, right? Um, and there's a lot of things that are coming up here for the, for the feminine right now at this time for, it to, for us to reflect upon, give each other some space at the moment, trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So that reason why this isn't coming into union yet Again, needs time, takes time because the feminine energy is still releasing and making progress on the healing journey, okay? I do feel like it's important that we really work on releasing our expectations, our 3D expectations when it comes to this 5D spiritual connection. It's different than your usual type and expectation. Uh, can you please, gui guidance? I was about to say guidance for the king of cups and then we have friendship here i feel like you had a really great friendship with this person and um and and they miss it they miss talking with you they miss spending time with you they miss laughing with you okay it says uh the guidance for this king of cups is to have patience here with and not just go straight for the physical right and um the physical connection and to have patience and to invest time, energy, and effort to, to, to take this pinnacle and put time, energy, and effort into it to nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. I feel like this person is going to have to start from scratch, from the bottom up here. And look, again, twice for this king. This king is in their feelings, okay? They're in love. We have Cupid's arrow twice here. Love is in the air. Have faith, right? Love is coming. Can I have one on this king, king of swords? Passion. Deep in your heart, you're ready. So this king is being asked to get out of their heart, their head space and go into their heart space. So lots of passion that they're starting to feel like solar plexus energy, life force energy. Okay. Um, like a fire being lit within them fire is ignited love is love is a fire <laughs> you lit their heart on fire kind of energy so they're feeling sexual energy a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it so um so this person is i feel like they're coming out here having a rebirth coming out from the ground from that uh their death process which again they are ascending and then the universe, God source, the universe, their spirit guides wants them to get out of their head and to go into their heart space and follow their heart. Deep in your heart, King of Swords, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. 
that's the energy i'm going to pull for for uh this is going to be for both of you guidance here from this wisdom of the oracle and then we're going to wrap yeah there's a message coming in message in a bottle okay i'm actually gonna leave that there number 15 What's the message for the collective? Take a nap. Yeah, I was just, I was just saying how, I was telling my friend how tired I feel. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys that too. I'm feeling a little tired. We have blessed here. So many blessings, so many blessings, right? And take a nap, time to rest. There's a lot. The reason why is because there's a lot of emotions that are coming up here. Okay. And these emotions, the forgiveness work can be very emotionally draining and exhausting. This whole journey is extremely exhausting. So there's just so much healing. That's why I'm going to read. There's definitely some messages that are coming in towards you. I'm going to read number 15 here. Message in a bottle. Communication, a sign. A clendon, the ancient name for a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently by the speaker, pointing the way to your highest good. Spirit sends you signs when you ask for them, when you believe you will receive them, and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols, oracles, and omens. They may come to you as a bird flying by, a logo on a truck, <laughs> and a song on the radio. I'm laughing because... I went out yesterday and I barely do that. So when I go out, the, the universe floods me with signs and synchronicities. And that's what happened. I was flooded and it came out. It came. Yeah. Anyway, I, had to, I took photos and, um, and I clearly, you know, when it's a sign, when it's a message for you. And um, so that, that was nice. That made me smile. That's how the universe tells you that there is no separation here, that you guys are this person is with you, okay, at all times. And they're on their way and that they're thinking of you. That's what these signs show you. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open for someone might, might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you and the reply is favorable. Ooh, I love that. Your relationship message. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news right here that's what the page of wands is this could be in a form of a letter a phone call or an email you are the intended receiver of this message so stay open to what you learn only good will come of it in the end the signs are all there yeah you're getting messages even in your sleep as well in your dreams that um you have that this person is very close to reaching out to you okay i'm going to actually read this number 22 we got 22 and 23 just because i'm guided to so if you guys are still here for this message then this message is for you i want to read it come on one i don't know how many times i skipped it 22 blessed so many blessings right now. Something wonderful that is that is unearned and unexpected. Grace that is an unforeseen gift from spirit. Look, it comes in when you're poised, right? When you're in this beautiful poised energy of the Empress. There are moments in life when out with out of the blue, it seems that everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. You feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express. It's as if the Red Sea parts in front of you and events come together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You know, deep down, you did not deserve any of it. And yet here you are. This is one of those times. Let awe and gratitude for all the blessings guide you now. Beautiful relationship message. You are moving towards a, a, a deepening of an, of, of intimacy in a, in a unique and sacred partnership. Yes, you are. Here's the lovers. Here's the king of cups and here's the queen of cups. That is all day, a deepening. Here's the temperance card, uh, emerging spiritually, 
a coming together. We have two twin flame cards here already. We have divine counterparts here already. We have aces here already. So process through what you got to process. Release this stuff here that's coming up for you with forgiveness. And raise your vibration. Uh, call in Archangel Zachiel, Jeremiah, Michael to help with the violet flame. So you can transmute this energy and get, it, get back into this energy of excitement for what's coming in here for you. You know you are meant to make this you know you are meant to make this connection this union blessed by the divine will bring transformation and beauty to the world. Yes, this love this love is the kind of love that can change the world. This is also a sign that even more important you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. Dive deep. With this new development you will see evidence of grace in your life. Wow. Yes, family. That's the message. Beautiful energy for Tuesday. I love this. You're making progress, beautiful souls. Just keep going. If you guys are still here, I want to say namaste. And thank you so much for love, for your love, for your support, for liking, sharing, and subscribing, your comments below. I love you. And God bless you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Till next time, family. Much love.